Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of Penn Voice. I'm joined today by Don Cecil, who is representing CMCDA, the San Mateo County Economic Development Association. Don, welcome. Thank you, Danny. Um, we uh, had a previous segment, so I hope our viewers will watch that, and we talked about sort of the myriad of what's happening in moving people mm -hmm. um, in our transportation, various um, projects. But today we're going to talk about something very specific, yes. um, and that may be the idea of a half-cent sales tax. Um, in 2018 <clears throat> that would fund local transportation um, projects. So tell, kind of take me back to the beginning as to why our um, forefathers thought that and foremothers <laughs> thought that um, <laughs> this might be something that we need to consider in San Mateo County and, and what you're doing to now look at what sort of the priorities of projects might sure, be. Sure, absolutely. Well, I'd say first of all, 2017 was a very exciting year in San Mateo County and the Bay Area, as well as California. We have sort of the table set in terms of funding that comes from um, Senate Bill 1, which was the gas tax increase that yeah. went into effect last November, and then vehicle license fee increases on a rolling basis this year. Now your viewers may say, how is that a good thing? Right. You know, what I'll tell you is, um, our representatives, Senators Hill and Wiener, Assembly Members Mullen, uh, Ting and Berman, fought for San Mateo County and Sacramento. They fought for a comprehensive tax um, plan that would fund transportation throughout the state of California, but potentially bring really big benefits to San Mateo County for our choke points. 101, 10192, Dumbarton, ferries, bike pedestrian, the whole bit. Um, we also had Caltrain's electrification budget fully funded mm -hmm. so that we are going to have um, a fully electrified Caltrain system, I believe by 2022, which is going to move more people faster, more efficiently, and electrified, which is going to be better for our environment. Right. So that sets the table, right? But it doesn't fully fund what we know to be our reality every day in San Mateo County. You get in your car and you're in traffic on El Camino Real, or you're at a stop on 101, or you're dreading coming up on the 10192 interchange, or or any of the ways in which people right Woodside get Road, Woodside Road, Produce Avenue in South San Francisco, people on the coast side, we we can't forget about them. Right. So the needs are great, and the most effective way to solve our congestion problems, increase our mobility, make it safer to ride a bike and walk on San Mateo County streets, is to create a new source of local revenue in San Mateo County. One way to do that is to ask voters this November if they'll approve a half cent sales tax increase to the local sales tax rate in San Mateo County. What that generates is about. I was say, that sounds million. really ambiguous. So tell us, I mean, so how do you figure out what we need? Is that generates about $80 million a year, mm -hmm. which seems a lot bigger than it really is because right. you can spend that money quickly. Right. Um, this is not something that has been decided. This right. is something that's being evaluated by the San Mateo County Transit District, which is the organization that operates the Sam Trans bus system, the paratransit system that picks people up at their homes and takes them to doctor's appointments or to the grocery store who otherwise are not mobile on their own. Right. Um, they also manage the Caltrain system as well as the San Mateo County Transportation Authority which is the arm that does major infrastructure projects. So it's funding things like the lead up to the 10192 um, uh, interchange project. It's providing funding to things like the environmental phases of the 101 Woodside Road interchange. It helped to construct the San Bruno grade separation project. So if we can generate this money locally, we can solve our problems locally more effectively. Mm -hmm. It also makes us more competitive when we go to seek additional funding or matching funding from the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, the California Transportation Commission, the Federal Department of Transportation, um, when you raise money locally, it's right. the most effective money. So we're gonna get into, um, you're interested in community feedback. You're interested Absolutely. in every resident uh, in San Mateo County, what their ideas are Mm -hmm. what's most important to them from a mobility standpoint. So again, Absolutely. I use the word mobility because it doesn't have to be cars. It could right. be trains, it could be walkways, it could be bicycle lanes, it could be ferry systems. It has to be all of those things. Right. So SAMHSA, um, which is the voice of some of the major employers in San Mateo County, right. 
uh, launched the Peninsula Mobility Group in 2016. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is support our local transportation agencies and our local elected officials and be a key stakeholder and partner in providing mobility solutions, advocating for funding at the state, regional, lo uh, the state, regional and federal levels, mm -hmm. um, and also helping uh, people to understand that the biggest business community is as concerned about solving the traffic congestion and housing crises in San Mateo County and improving mobility. Right. These employees live in San Mateo County. Right. They're residents, they're constituents, they're, your, your, they're the neighbors of your viewers. And thanks for saying that, because I think oftentimes when we think of some of the larger um, tech companies for sure, and perhaps biotech in, in um, the northern part of our county, we always think, oh, they're just the ones that are putting all these cars on the freeway or these large buses. But I think it's important for viewers to understand that they're also in the game with regard to solutions and putting Absolutely. dollars towards those solutions. And each of those large buses is up to 150 cars that are not next to the right. person driving their own car on Highway 101. Right. And Caltrain is a major um, is a major backbone between San Francisco and San Jose. But you have people getting on Caltrain at every station in San Mateo County. They live here and they're going somewhere to work. So could this half cent sales tra tax also support some of our um, train systems? I mean, how, how are you? How would the transportation district um, look at prioritizing projects? Mm -hmm. um, for th this half cent sales tax, should it be on the ballot and should pass in November? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, uh, the San Mateo County Transit District and the County of San Mateo are partnering on an effort to do public education okay. and public engagement about, about what it would look like. If we, if we asked voters for a half cent sales tax, what might the priorities be for investing those funds in mobility solutions in San Mateo County. So there is actually a website that is in existence right now. And we'll put it up on our We'll put our it screen. up later. Yep. That website is intended to collect feedback from San Mateo County residents and other stakeholders about what their priorities would be for how to spend this half cent sales tax. So it's, it's beginning to develop what an expenditure plan might look like for how you would spend $80 million a year for the life of the tax measure. And so what we want people to do is go to the website, mm -hmm. register, and take the survey. And the survey is gonna ask them a series of 12 different priorities. And it's, it's gonna ask them to rank those priorities in terms of what they think is the most important issues or problems to solve in San Mateo County when it comes to mobility. Mm -hmm. So is it bike and pedestrian safety? Is it solving congestion at the 10192 interchange? Is it um, increasing um, is it increasing mobility and reducing congestion on our local highways and state roads? Um, is it housing? Is it um, east-west connections? Right. You know, oftentimes we're so focused on getting from north to north, south, south, right? But you know, in the middle of the day try just getting across El Camino Real to go to the grocery store. Right. Um, is it about supportive transportation services for seniors and veterans? Uh, is it about students getting students to school? So it's really, um, it's an individual exercise in helping to rank what a particular person's priorities are. And that's gonna help to inform how an expenditure plan is potentially put together um, in the lead up to a decision about yes or no, are we going to ask voters in November if they'll approve this half cent sales right. tax? And if you do, then what are some of the um, examples of projects that you could use as forward um, facing to say, you know, these are the kinds of things that could mm -hmm. happen. These are the things that you told us you're looking for in your community. For sure. I mean, so, it could be it's, you know, potholes right. is one of the things on the list of people for people to rank as a priority. Right. Transportation safety. Mm -hmm. So we are out of time, but I want to just make sure that all of our viewers know that we will put the link to the survey mm -hmm. at the end of this segment so people can literally write it down or if you're viewing online on the internet, then they can just click through yes. to get to the survey because it's really important that as many viewers as we um, can touch to understand that they really need to take this mobility survey. And we really need people to complete that survey right. before the end of February. Before the end of February.
February. Thanks for that information. All right, Don, well, it looks like we'll be having you back several times between now and November to see where we are at with this potential half cent sales tax. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you, Danny. Thanks for representing Sam Cita. Thanks to all of you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Penn Voice.